Joseph Michael, listen to this. The number one killer, guys, listen, of African-American women between the ages of 25 and 34, the number one killer of that block is AIDS. That's stunning. One reason is a phenomenon you may not have heard of, men on the down low, a phrase used to describe men who date, live, even marry women, all the while having sex with other men. It was a storybook romance of rekindled love, full of unbridled hope and happiness. During 2002, I went through a divorce and it was an incredibly emotional time. After a while, Joy Parker found herself sorting through a batch of old pictures from her prom. I couldn't have asked for a better boyfriend. Get this, the very next day, the website classmates.com forwarded Joy an email from her old beau across the country. Instantly, I typed back, call me, and we talked for hours. From there, the pair spoke every day by phone, made visits, and rekindled their romance. He goes, I was your first love, and I'm going to be your last love. Joy sold her home, she transferred her job, and moved to Virginia, where her new man got down on his knee and proposed. The day I got married was the happiest day of my life. But about three months into the marriage, Joy started to sense that something wasn't right. The sex was there, but the intimacy... It wasn't. And the newlywed wife's doubts grew when her husband was stricken with a mild stroke. There was a surprise visitor in the hospital. Who is this guy? My husband, he was really giddy, like a, like a woman would be uh, around a new man in her life. Joy started to take notice of some secretive behaviors, leaving the house with no explanation. He received dozens of phone calls each day, but... It's like he kept... It he kept his friends away uh, from our life. Out of despair, Joy stole away with his cell phone, checked his voicemail, and got the shock of her life. Her perfect husband was gay. I was devastated. I just felt like my whole world was just... It was falling apart. The scorned wife confronted her husband with the betrayal, and his response said it all. His eyes became really big, and he said, you're going to try to destroy me. So ah. interesting. Joy is with us this morning. Joy, thank you for coming in and talking about this. You're going to try to destroy me. I mean, what, what, what were you going to destroy? His world. He thought I was going to tell a secret to everyone. He didn't care about the way I was feeling, that I was devastated, yeah. sold my house moved to the East Coast. But he never copped to being gay. He never, never actually said he... No, he told me that in his own words, I will never tell you what you want to hear. So what did he go on to do then? Did, uh, did he still date women? Did he... Yeah, he is still dating women oh, yeah. today. He yes. still doesn't admit it. Still won't admit it. Are you sure I am 100% <laughs> positive. I am absolutely sure. He is gay. Well, when he had the, the minor stroke and he was in the, ho in the hospital, you go to see him and there's a dude sitting there, you know, holding his hand. That probably gave you a good indication. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But I mean, it, but he still somehow twisted around and for, for a while after that was like, you're crazy. You're yes, crazy. he told oh, everyone all I was before. crazy. Yes, yeah. yes, because he, he couldn't accept his own truth. So he put it back on me. It's like I didn't even exist anymore. Did you once? Did you think that you were going crazy? Were you like, wait, a minute, why? The guy was sitting here holding hands with my husband, but maybe I am crazy. No, I spiraled down into a deep depression. But thanks to my family, I made it. Good. Yeah, it was probably obvious. Yeah, good for you. But you still hold anger. I am. Yes, I am. I am what are you very mad about? angry because every day on my website, straightuptruth.com, women are, women are contacting me every single day, devastated, finding out about these men. And they continue to do it. Yeah. And we're going to find out why they do it, or some of them do it. Let's bring in Lisa Jordan. She is the director of the documentary On the Down Low. <laughs> the assistant commissioner of the Bureau of HIV Prevention and Control, Dr. Monica Sweeney, is joining us as well. And author of Hiding in Hip Hop, a book about his life on the down low. Terrence oh. Dean is here. Terrence, thanks a lot. Lisa? Lisa? Yeah, what, what the heck is... 
What does that term mean exactly, I'm on the down low? Well, the down low is a very simple term. It's, it's a term that people use to describe men who sleep with men, but they masquerade as heterosexuals by day. So in front of your friends and family, it could be your uncle, your husband, your boyfriend, even you, Mike, wink, wink. <laughs> It could, be, it could be anybody, but they're acting as if they're heterosexual because secretly, it's all about secrets and deception, they're having sex with men. And but they're doing it, they're deceiving because they don't want to be called gay. But they're just not out of the closet yet, they're right? Not out of, well, again, that's... A, that's when I they're this, never going to come out of well, the closet. Well, some do, like this man did. Some don't. A lot of men, especially black men, let's, let's understand something. The down low can be tagged onto any race of men, but certainly for blacks, we have it in our race, too. Black men especially are not going to come out and say they're gay, because to be gay, it's to be she-she-woo-woo, switchy-switchy-switchy, <laughs> Donna Summers, yeah. you know, <laughs> and Diana Ross. So they don't want to be called, you know, and, and liking Celine Dion. They don't want to have this term gay because it looks as if you're weak. How do so you... Okay you like Celine Dion. Really? It's okay. I oh, you have more mic. I like you, Mike, but it could be anybody. Streisand? Lover. Yeah, Barbara Streisand. <laughs> but I'm not gay. But Lisa, how do you know what you're talking about here? I know what I'm talking about because I spent about six years investigating this t the phenomenon called the down low. Did and you date a down low? Uh, well, then furthermore, well, back a few years ago, I met this man who I'll show called Chicago, and I met him on the first day he told me he was gay. He said to me, why is it that when women have sex with each other, it's a turn on, but when men have sex with <laughs> men, women leave them? Okay, if somebody said that to me, I would be like, okay, <laughs> come on. I was in my 20s. Now, mm. uh, an alarm went on, but the word, the phrase down low wasn't there. So I just kind of ignored it. Over the years, there were signs. He was saying, oh, I tell, talking about guys that liked him and talking about guys that other people said that liked him. You were starting and I was, to run out I start, I, Snooping was my but middle Lisa, name. You, were, yes. was, you stayed with him for six snooping. years. Yes. Six years. And all that time, he didn't come out. Now, in your documentary, I remember this clip that uh, African-American men have a very hard time coming yes. out. And, and this clip kind of gives an indication why that is. People engage in homosexual activity in prison, but once they come out, that doesn't mean they still engage in that behavior. But they're still Again, right. we have to realize Thank that it's a you. behavior. Thank you. It's a they're behavior. Still... That doesn't necessarily make you a gay person mm -hmm. if you're experimenting with the same sex. They want to be boys, but still do what they want to do on the side. Mm -hmm. That's why DL, they chose that name, because mm -hmm. they don't want to act flamboyant and, you know, <laughs> That's the difference between gay mm -hmm. and DL. Yeah. It seems to indicate right. these no, guys no. will not even admit they're gay. They, they don't even see themselves as gay. Because gay to them is a lifestyle. A lot of black men say, well, I'm not switching and I'm not gay. And then also it's about how you look, what you say, where you go, and what you wear. They don't go to gay bars. They don't dress like girls. They don't snap their fingers and say, honey, child, these men are so-called men. Boxers, yes. rappers, um, businessmen could be the president well, of the United States. They're not going to come out. Let's ask Terry real quick. Well, real yeah, right.